Our sign language interpreter is Meresha Owiti. Remember that you can talk to us on our social media platforms at KTN News, KE at KTN Home underscore at Dennis Seto across all the social media platforms. We're also streaming live on standardmedia.co.ke and on our YouTube channels as well. Talk to us from wherever it is you are watching us from. But now let's go straight to stories making headlines. Tonight, ODM party leader Raila Odinga is unrelenting on his call for a referendum. Raila has asked Kenyans to prepare for a referendum in a bid to either approve or reject some of the recommendations made by National Dialogue Committee. Raila, who was in the Western Kenya region, said Kenyans deserve to be given such a chance to decide which direction this country will take, especially when it comes to matters of amending the 2010 constitution. Chris Tairo with that report. ODM party leader Raila Odinga was in Busia and Kakamega counties for a recruitment drive for the party. With this meeting coming a few days after Zimio Lomod approved the report of the National Dialogue Committee, politicians who had accompanied their Zimio leader insisted that Kenyans must be given an opportunity to determine those issues through a referendum. Ulituambia juzi kwamba yale ambayo representative wetu Mheshimiwa Kalonzo amepitia through Na umetuonyesha katika PG juzi, tutaenda hiyo mrengo. Na wala ambao wanasema, wanataka kukata. Mahali profesa alitueleza kwamba itaitaji kwenda kwa raia. Tukuje kwenu, mtu asizuie. Kama ni kukuje kwenu, lazima tukuje kwenu. Vizuri usome hiyo report. Ujue hiyo report inasema ni. Usisoma hii mambo ya magazeti kwa sababu porojo kwa magazeti iko mingi kabisa. Yale mazungumuzi yalikuwa ya bipartisan. Lazima ya pitie referendum. Ili mwanaiji hawe na final say kwa hayo maneno. The politicians condemned the Kenya Kwanza government saying that they have failed to serve Kenyans. Usuru hapa. Usuru hapa. Usuru hapa. Hakuna chochote na wazo kufanya. Walingia kwa serikali bila mpango ya kuongozi. Nati wakipkaa miaka miyamoja, hawezi kubulipleti mbaridiko yoyote. Walikuwa nasema tu maneno tu. Ati hoi, sisi nataka bottoms up. Siji hasla, siji mamamboga, siji juakali, hiyo takataka yote. Mweshimua reila molo dinga, wewe usiwe na wasiwasi at all. Dunia imaanza kulipuka. Bomu ya kwanza ilipukia bomez. Wanaiji wakafukuza waziri wa mafuta chirichiri. Huna rifti vale. Mafuta ta imepanda kwa silimia arubaini tangu uyo mkora hibi uchaguzi yetu. Ukiangalia stima imepanda kwa silimia arubaina tano tangu ruto wajiingize kule ndani. Baba watu wachua yu. Wewe unajua huko na majeshi hapa. Mimi amu ya number one supporter kama chairman wako. The politicians also condemn the demolition of houses that took place in Kakamega County. They want to condemn hile demolition na menelea kule. Serikali kuu wakiongozo na regional commissioner ambaya kikatiba inatakana ukua meenda nyumbani wamefanya mambo ya ukatili kule. We cannot support hile demolition na menelea kule. Wakati unabomalea watu manyumba, watu wanaumia. Na kuna mpango unezonge na watu kama shamba ilikuwa ya serekali, watu wanunue, wakae hapo, waendele na maisha yao. We will go to court to declare this so called provincial administration unconstitutional. County commissioner has no powers to interfere with the governor. The so called regional commissioner is completely legal. There are no regions in our governance structure. Regions, the provinces went with the old constitution. Kenya Kwanza politicians have already opposed any plans to subject Kenyans to a referendum. Chris Dairo, KTN News.